What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Will Smith the shit out of the like button. Please share this across all social media um, in order to fight the YouTube algorithm and censorship. Um, I just want to talk about this article right here on Hip Hop DX. I saw it a couple days ago, and now I'm getting around to it. Um, you see the title of it, Willie D calls out the Grammys for including Scarface in hip hop tribute, but snubbing ghetto boys. Um, I'm just going to get right to the nitty gritty of it. Uh, Willie D, who y'all should know, obviously he's part of ghetto boys. Um, he jumped on Instagram and said this, a reminder to the Grammys and all the rest of y'all out here trying to hustle the ghetto boys brand by only including Scarface, who had a stello, stellar solo career, excuse me, how in the hell are you going to have a 50-year tribute to hip-hop and not include the Ghetto Boys, the group? If you forgot, the group includes Scarface and Willie D, and he's also living, leaving out Bushwick Bill for, you know, that's a whole nother video. How are you going to use a performance that includes a song that I co-wrote but not even have the decency, the respect to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to participate? Y'all are some clowns for that. <laughs> All the way out of pocket. Whoever made the call, y'all some clowns. No more talking. And there's the Instagram right there. Um, I'm going to tell you why, uh, Willie D. And this is uh, coming from a place of love, I, but I, you know, I just can't stand hypocrisy. All right, uh, you made a song back in, I think it was 1990 or 1991. I think it was on the album "We Can't Be Stopped" called "Trophy." Some of y'all that don't know um, that song, go look it up. I'm sure it's on YouTube, um, but it's on the Ghetto Boys album. I believe it's called "We Can't Be Stopped." I don't know. I haven't listened to that album in a while, but that track, he's going in on award shows. Uh, specifically the Grammys talking about how they're full of shit and all that stuff so again if you feel that way why the fuck would you want validation from these guys you know what I mean it, it, it just doesn't make sense and I'm so sick and tired of uh, us uh, now I'll turn it to a race thing or whatever but, um, but us as black people always looking for uh, white validation when we're at the point now where we don't need that we can have our own award shows and i know people are gonna say well it's not as big as the great listen again that's why you build a foundation and you keep it going you know shout out to ll cool j he's starting a uh hip-hop cruise you know if that takes off they make money it'll probably be a yearly or maybe a quarterly thing and i hope it does you know what i'm saying but you have to start somewhere so, um, yeah, I, I think it's a bit hypocritical for this dude to uh, want a Grammy at this point. All right. And, uh, you know, you said yourself, Scarface had a stellar solo career and um, he did compare to you. Uh, that's not a diss again, because, you know, you had Scarface who stayed consistent, putting out albums from the 90s into the 2000s, he put out The Fix, which was a five mica. Uh, I believe he, at one point, he was the president of Def Jam South. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, I mean, you know, Willie D, you're more of like, a, well, let me not just say Willie D, but as the Ghetto Boys, they started out as anti-establishment. You know, they were there with NWA and, and people like this. You know what I'm saying? So, um, speaking of NWA, uh, Willie D, you should take a, take a page out of Ice Cube's book. When uh, Straight Outta Compton came out, the, the, the movie, and people were like, yo, you didn't get nominated or any of this shit. He goes, listen, uh, NWA has always been anti-establishment, so I get it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, he goes, and I've, I did a video on this. He says, yeah, maybe next time I'll put a slave in the movie. Meaning, he understands what how Hollywood works. Listen, the streets spoke when it came to Shredder Compton. He knows what's up. 
he made bank on that. And a lot of people enjoyed the movie. Just like a lot of people enjoyed the Ghetto Boys music, a lot of people enjoy Scarface, Willie D, what have you, Bushwick Bill. People know who you are and you should take it as a blessing. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, if you're anti-establishment, stay anti-establishment. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this goes not just to Willie D, because there's other artists too that are out here talking about being snubbed and all that. No, 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 no. Let's create our own shit. I, do you notice there's been a consistent thread of mine that hits a lot of my videos? Stop looking for validation from other people and do your own shit. Again, Latinos, they definitely understand, this, especially when it comes to music. You look at artists like Mark Anthony, Shakira, all these people were successful prior to them uh, coming to the States. They weren't sitting here looking for validation. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just a quick video. Uh, you know, love Willie D's music, especially his earlier shit. Um, shit with the Ghetto Boys. And uh, one more point, too. You know, this is hip hop's 50th anniversary. I believe LL um, stated, because I, I seen the clips or whatever, that you he couldn't, there's too many artists that need recognition or this and that. All right, you, you know, it, it's just, okay, we're gonna look at Scarface. Maybe in a year or two, they'll do Willie D. Who knows? You know what I mean? So that's another point. But yeah, um, quick video, just had to call that out real quick. Y'all know the deal, leave your love, leave your hate, most of all subscribe, and that's it. Peace, bitches.